to all our LGU officials, assistant schools, division superintendent, officer in charge, office of the schools, division superintendent, public schools, district supervisor, school heads, teachers, guests, parents and awardees. Good morning to all of us and welcome to our 2021 virtual graduation rites of Songkoy Elementary School. Heavenly Father, as we celebrate this momentous event, our graduation day, we, the graduates of Batch 2021, humbly ask your blessings upon us for reaching this significant point in our lives. We thank you, God, for our loving and supportive parents and dedicated teachers who work hand in hand to enable us to attain this pinnacle of success. Our diplomas signified the end of our elementary years, yet a gateway to a new one, which is the high school years. All these blessings we are about to receive today became all possible because of you. Thank you, God, for the years in which you have been so good and faithful to us. You always guide and protect us in every endeavor and struggles we encounter and even favor us this time of the pandemic. We pray that you'll continue blessing us with a healthy body and mind. Heavenly Father, empower, equip, and make us confident to fulfill our dreams and aspirations in life. May your presence be with us always and draw us near to you so that we could make better choices and the right decisions. Father, always ease our anxieties about the future to come. May the years ahead of us bring promises, fulfillment, and victories. May your joy, love, and peace be with us always and be our constant companion wherever we go. Direct our paths every day and help us create our best tomorrow. Thank you, Father, for the promises of a bright future. For you said in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. All this we pray in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our source, our provider, and healer. Amen.
to our UICSDS of SDU1 Pangasinan, Dr. Ali S. Ubaldo, to the PSDS of Kalasya 2 District, Ma'am Daisy T. Talyu, Barangay officials, PTA officers, Songkoy Teaching Force, their parents, graduates, good day. It is with great pleasure and admiration that I convey my best wishes and profound facilitations to all the graduates of the school year 2020-2021. Sa kabila ng pandemyang ating kinakarap, ang araw na ito ay tinuturing na pa rin nating isang masayang pagdiriwang hindi lamang dahil sa pagtatapos na isa na namang taon ng kaalaman at pagkatuto ng pagsisikap at pagtitiyaga ng ating mga mag-aaral. Hindi naging rason o hadlang ang COVID-19 pandemic upang makamit ang inyong tagumpay. Ang tema para sa taong ito, kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Ay nagpapatunay lamang na hindi matitinag ng anumang sakuna upang maibigay sa mga bata ang kalidad ng edukasyon na karapat dapat para sa kanila. Bagkos, ito ay nagsilbing inspirasyon sa lahat na mas lalong paigtingin ang pagsulong ng isang dekalidad na edukasyon para sa mga batang Pilipino. Naniniwala ako na ang anumang landas ang inyong tatahakin. Kami sa paaralang elementarya ng sungkoy ay laging handa at nakasuporta para sa inyong maganda at maayos na kinabukasan. Muli, maligayang pagtatapos at pagpalain kayo ng puong may kapal. Congratulations, Batch 2021! To our dynamic and hardworking school head, faculty member, staff of Kalashaw District 2, beloved parents and graduates, friends, a pleasant day to all. It is an honor and privilege to be a part of this celebration to share the intensity of emotions as we see our graduates close this chapter of their life. The COVID-19 pandemic has been around us for more than a year now and has tested the resiliency of Filipinos to rise and adapt the new normal. Of course, the virtual graduation is a part of the new normal. The Department of Education has come up with different learning modalities because we believe that learning should not be stopped despite the crisis that we are experiencing. We need to be proactive in anticipating and planning various service delivery conditions in the educational institutions. We need to be flexible enough to fit in the complex setup and cater to the needs of our learners. It has been a school year full of hard work, dedication, sacrifices of our school leaders. Class of 2021, you will graduate in time of pandemic, a time in history when our world is dealing with enormous challenges, but a time when the opportunities created by those challenges have never been greater. You are considered as technology natives born and educated in a technological world where you enjoy remote and hybrid learning. Today, you are to start a new journey of your life story, armed with the skills and knowledge you've attained. I am sure that you are eager to tackle the next phase, whatever it might be. As a result of whatever you choose to do, our world will change as well. The result of your contributions determined by how you follow your dreams and your goals in life. Everything is possible 
for as long as you are determined and committed. Graduates, do not be afraid to take risks and set goals. Take the detours that inevitably pop and learn from them. The challenge is for you to take that enthusiasm that surrounds you today and the endurance that you have shown this year. Continue to care. Care about yourself, your family, your friends, and your community. And wherever the next chapters in your story may take you, make sure that the journey includes joy, even in this time of pandemic. Remember that you are the real victors in this event. Again, congratulations, Batch 2021. To the school administrators, teachers, and non-teaching personnel, my heartfelt gratitude. You were able to produce new leaders in our community, continue to provide services, and impart knowledge and wisdom, and contribute to the growth of our society in this very challenging time. Thank you for providing the highest degree of services that you have rendered to our learners. To our loving and supportive parents, thank you for partnering with us. I know that it is not easy to be a parent and a teacher at home at the same time, but you are the one, you are the real heroes in this time of pandemic. Thank you for helping our children reach this milestone in their lives. Again, congratulations class of 2021. Mabuhay! Stay safe and may God bless us all. Thank you. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Lubos ang aking kagalakan na makapagbigay ng mensahe sa inyo, mahal naming mga magulang, guro, pulong guro, at higit sa lahat, sa inyo, ating mga completers at graduates mula sa kindergarten, grade 6, grade 10, grade 12, at sa ating learners from the Alternative Learning System na pumasa sa Portfolio Assessment. Ang tema ng ating End of School Year Rights ay kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Ang pandemya ang dulot ng COVID-19 ang nagudyok sa lahat ng educational leaders na gumawa ng mga tough choices sa gitna ng tanong paano mapapangalagaan ang kaligtasan ng mga guro at paano may hahatid ang edukasyon sa mga mag-aaral. Ayon nga kay Secretary Briones, education must continue even in times of crisis. Sa pagtutulungan nga ng mga magulang, mag-aaral, kaguruan at stakeholders na itawid natin ang school year 2020-2021. Tunay ngang napakalaga ng ating selebrasyon ng school year 2020-2021 because for the first time in history, the school and home have finally touched base together for a common aspiration. Nagpapatunay na malaki ang bahagi ng parental involvement sa academic achievement ng isang mag-aaral. As parents and teachers work together to address our children's needs, we're able to form a formidable team to combat ignorance and keep relevant values that every home and society cherish. Batid ko ang inyong mga pasakit at pinagdaanan, maitawid lamang ang inyong pag-aaral. Mental stress, dala ng independent learning, unstable internet connectivity, problema sa kahirapan ng buhay. Ngunit lahat ng ito ay napagtagumpayan ninyo. Ang inyong ipinakitang tibay ay kamanghamangha. Ito ay nagpapakita ng katatagan ng ating mga mag-aaral. 
Lastly, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, please appreciate your parents. To be a good father and mother requires that the parents defer many of their own needs and desires in favor of the needs of their children. You never know what sacrifices they went through for you. Respect your teachers. Teachers spend most of their nights planning, most of their mornings explaining, most of their afternoons correcting, most of their years encouraging, most of their lives stressing what matters most in life, and it's all for your future. So don't make their jobs more difficult. Congratulations to you, our precious children, parents, teachers, and school heads for continuously making the flames of education burn amidst the darkness of these times. Babuhay! each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day, wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness 
to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down, and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited, because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, 
the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survive and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world. 
and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do, God be with you, and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations.
sa ating kalihim ng kagawaran ng edukasyon, ginang Leonor Magtolis Briones, sa ating tagapangasiwa ng Divisyon ng Mga Paaralan, ginang Eli S. Ubaldo, sa ating tagamasid Pampurok, ginang Daisy G. Telio, sa ating masayahin at masipag na ulong guro, ginang Susan P. Espinoza, sa mga minamahal namin mga guro ng paaralang elementarya ng Sungkoy, sa aming mga magulang na napakasuportado, mga mag-aaral, mga kaibigan, at sa lahat ng nakikisa sa espesyal na araw na ito, isa mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. Po ay lubos na gagalak dahil po sa pagbibigay sa akin ng oportunidad na makapagsalita sa inyong lahat ngayong araw ng aming pagtatapos. Sa nagdaang taon at hanggang ngayon, maraming pagsubok at balakid ang nagdudunod ng pandemya sa ating buhay. Naging napakahira po para sa amin ang pag-aaral dahil na wala ang pisikal na pagpasok sa paaralan at pagtuturo at naging printed module hanggang naging blended learning na tinawag itong new normal. Dahil dito, kinailangan namin masanay sa bagong paraan ng pag-aaral gamit ang module, video lessons at online class. Nakakausap lang natin ang ating mga guro at mga kamag-aral sa pamamagitan ng video call, text, o tawag sa cellphone. Maraming pagbabago at maraming nabigla sa kakaibang sistema ng pagkakatid ng ating mga aralin. Sa kabila nito, hindi nagupo ng pandemya ang pag-asa at pagnanais na ipagpatuloy ang ating edukasyon. Mahirap, ngunit nakayanan natin magpursige. Kagyan natin hinarap ang hamon at ngayon ay natapos natin ang isang taon ng pag-aaral. Ngunit hindi pa natatapos ang pagsubok. Sana'y hawak pa rin natin ang mga aral na ating natutunan. At ito'y ninangin pa ng gusto upang ang dekalidad ng edukasyon ay siya pa rin makamit sa ating new normal. Bago po ako magtapos sa aking mensahe, gusto ko po munang pasalamatan ang mga sumusunod. Unang-una po ay nagpapasalamat ako sa dakilang guro at direktor ng ating buhay, ang ating Panginoon, sa pagkakalaob po sa atin ng kalakasan at talino. Ang lahat ng tagumpay ay tinataas po namin sa inyo. Ikalawa po, sa ating pinakamamahal na mga magulang at mga pamilya, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong paggabay sa amin sa tamang landas. Sa lahat po ng sakripisyo, suporta at pagmamahal na ibinibigay niya sa amin. Ikatlo po ay ang aming mga guro. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong walang sawang sakripisyo sa pagtuturo sa amin, mapa-online man o modular. Kahit po nangyari ang balakid at pagsubok na ito sa atin, hindi po kayo sumuko na maturuan niyo kami sa bawat paksa, lalong-lalo na sa kagandahang asal. At ang panghuli, mga kapwa ko mag-aaral. Maraming maraming salamat sa sakripisyo, pagsisikap, sa pangunawa at pasensya at nakayanan natin na pagtagumpayan natin ang isang taong pag-aaral sa kabila ng pandemya na kinakaharap pa natin hanggang ngayon. At sa ating pagtatapos na ito sa elementarya, huwag natin kalimutan ang lahat ng ating natutunan. Isang pinto man ang magbubukas para sa ating hinaharap. Ngunit hindi ibig sabihin nito na dapat nating madaliin lahat sa ating buhay. Kung ano man ang nais nating makamit sa buhay, hindi mahalaga na makamitan natin ito agad. Ang importante ay ipagpatuloy natin ang ating pagsisikap upang makamit natin ang ating mga pangarap. Muli, maraming maraming salamat po at congratulations, Batch 21! Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Sa ngalan ng Sungkoy Elementary School, kami ay bumabati sa ating mga mag-aaral na nagsipagtapos ngayong taong panuruan 2020-2021. At sa mga magulang na nagbigay ng kanilang suporta, kooperasyon, at naging katuwang namin para maging matagumpay ang new normal education sa panahon ng pandemya. Bagamat ito ay naging isang malaking hamon sa ating edukasyon, 
ay napagtagumpayan pa rin po natin ang taong panuruan. Muli, mula sa paralang elementarya ng sungkoy, sa pamumuno ng aming mahal na punong guro na si Ginang Susan P. Espinosa at ng mga guro sa Sungkoy Elementary School, kami ay malugod na bumabati sa ating mga mag-aaral sa ikaanim na baitang na nagsipagtapos ngayong taong panuruan 2020-2021. Maraming salamat po.